crows in the archipelago of New Caledonia in the South Pacific have given a whole new dimension to the term bird brain. Naturally, for a small bird, their brains are tiny compared to mammals. But scientists have no hesitation in comparing the intellect of a crow to that of a great ape. Crows choose twigs according to their size and shape. They then put the tool to good use. The caterpillar stands no chance against the crow's technical expertise in using a carefully chosen tool for a deliberate purpose. It shows great dexterity with its beak. But its ability to invent a tool is not genetically programmed. It isn't an innate skill. Not all crows are so gifted. Even though their technical skills are handed down to future generations, their behavior depends on what kind of materials and prey are available in any given place. Conditions in the Austrian forests around Salzburg could not be more different than those of New Caledonia. Thomas Bugniar, a biologist at the Konrad Lorenz Research Station, studies the cognitive abilities of ravens here. Ravens seem to have a quite complicated or sophisticated lifestyle. They sometimes cooperate with others, non-related individuals, and sometimes they fiercely compete with others. And those two factors obviously have a quite strong input on their cognitive abilities. Finding food in the Austrian winter is always a challenge. Ravens stash their provisions in caches, secret larders where use-by dates are strictly observed. The ravens appear to understand something about time and space as they stock and hide their provisions. The winter cache system of survival demands imagination and a strong sense of perspective, qualities normally associated only with great apes. They hide their booty in the snow. Ravens also spy on each other to plunder when the time is right. Their behavior suggests they understand another's point of view and can act accordingly. They make sure the coast is clear before burying their food. The ravens under study in Austria are clearly animals of high intelligence, just what's needed for culture to blossom. To put them to the test, the team of scientists invented a problem. Food is tied to the end of a piece of string. The string, in turn, is attached to a branch. The ravens must work out how to get the food. They understand how to use one object, string, to get another, 
food. Solving this problem means they can make a mental image of how one thing interacts with another in space. Raymond's boss has quite sophisticated cognitive skills, in the, particularly in the direction that they can obviously um, understand something about the other's perspective. We also know that they are very good social learners, so obviously they meet the requirement for socially or culturally transmitting information. Corvids, the family of birds that includes ravens, crows and magpies, adapt their diet to where they live. This flexibility works well in a consumer society. The botanical gardens in Paris attract several dozen crows because it's a good place for a free picnic. They stake out the best spots to keep an eye on activity below. So what's in it for a hungry crow? Just a few leftovers? It's hardly worth the effort and there's so much competition. These crows are after much bigger fare, a whole bag of French fries. They're champions of fast food scavenging and they know exactly what to look for. A recognizable brand. Given the choice of an anonymous bag of fries and a colorful brand name, they'll take the latter. Their usually open-minded attitude towards food has become one-track minded, just like the junk food addicts sitting on park benches. The tricks of good scavenging are handed down to the next generation. Young crows learn to spot a good meal by its wrapper. But that's not the end of the story. The crows of Paris's botanical garden have developed a strong liking for self-service. They want for nothing, an abundance of choice in any number of plastic garbage bags around the park, and they're very picky. Crows are heavily influenced by human culture, especially the junk food culture which has even spread to the gourmet capital of the world. What bird brain ideas will these crows come up with next? One thing is for sure, they make full use of the grey matter inside. 